Uh, let's start the new topic. The new topic is the case structure. Okay, what's the name of the case structure and how we can create on live view? Okay, let's check it. Uh, uh, come on the block diagram. All right, click on here and click on structure and drag on the case structure. Okay, we already done about the for loop and while loop, and you need to visit on my playlist. Okay, uh, drag on the case structure like this. Okay, and click on here and click on the question mark. Okay, and drag on your mouse here and you uh, uh, give the whole information uh, about this case structure contain the one value sub diagram like this. Okay, and uh, you easily understand uh, or, uh, we can say uh, we easily understand from uh, this half full of the question mark. Okay, okay. Uh, now we need to uh, take about the info and uh, when you click on the here true false, they have a false and true value. It's when they have the two condition. One is true and second the false. I think you know very well about the two. True means uh, one or we can say hi. Okay, like this. Sorry, uh, it's not T, it's one. Okay, and uh, I think you know about the false because if false means zero or low. Okay, and in this condition is only on uh, only on available on the boolean like when you press the switch it's giving the one value and switch is off condition then it's continue give the zero value okay that's why it's operate and uh, they have one icon and it's only operate uh, case structure it's only operate in the boolean condition okay you need to give the boolean value on here uh, help of the any like a constant or a any uh, control switch so uh, now we can create a control uh, click on the NX style and uh, you can drag here any uh, any control or uh, boolean and I uh, try the horizontal slider switch like there okay and change the size as per your requirement I uh, like this okay okay uh, now what you need and uh, okay you directly connect on uh, this terminal directly connect to the wire because you know uh, this is the horizontal and it's the off condition it's been given the zero and when it's on when it's on it's given the one value okay one okay i think you know uh, now you know uh, have a good idea how it's work okay uh, okay if it's a uh, off condition giving the zero value on this loop and it directly come on the false condition okay and if we uh, switch on is given a one value on the case structure it's directly come on the true okay come on the true loop okay uh, okay uh, now we create a, sim a simple uh, simple led or indicator and how we work create on here and create a simple led like this and change your size as for your comment okay okay uh, now you create a uh, right click on here and create a constant okay we need to take constant without any control uh, okay we can operate here and it's give the continue false condition okay we can change it right click on here it's a true it's uh, give the continue true uh, uh, because when switch is on when switch is on it's come on their loop on the uh, true condition and the light is continuity on because they have constant true uh, connect to the boolean okay okay now what you need right click on here and create a uh, local variable on here because uh, I'm using only one LED uh, for uh, on and off condition okay for a both case that's why I'm create a local variable okay we can use anywhere in this local variable that's why I create the boolean local variable it's a boolean okay okay now uh, we need to uh, come on this false condition okay now you need to drag here and right click on here and create a constant uh, you need to the false because true i already given the uh, true condition and now uh, we need to the false like this okay now we need to the uh, new program okay okay let's start uh, of the led and continuity run okay uh, now it's condition the false LED is not blinking because uh, the switch is giving the zero value and zero value given by the uh, case structure and it's uh, come on the false value okay when uh, when you click on the LED when you click on the switch uh, on uh, like this it's an LED on why because when we press the one they give the signal one it's mean high and change low to high true condition and that time the LED is true and you can visualize here like this and you see uh, true value is given here and true when I uh, over the switch you see false value and change on the false 
okay and it's a case structure okay we can easily as like a switch control okay this is my case structure and we can easily make a lot of uh heavy uh program uh, in a smart way without any make a more complexity as like a java or a cc plus plus okay thank you so much if you like this video and please like and share and uh, sh like and share if you have a lot of doubt or any doubt you can comment on me i'm um i'm soon as soon as possible i'm a reply comment thank you so much guys